Hi folks, this is Alex from gsndome.com and this is the Nokia N8. You must have watched our unboxing a couple of days earlier and now we're back to give you a full review of this device. As you can see we're dealing with a 12 megapixel camera phone. This is the sensor we're talking about. We took some great pictures with it, you're gonna see that later. With a Carl Zeiss Tessar technology. As you can see the industrial design is flawless, smooth. Display looks great, although a bit reflective. And now let's check out the size of the device. On top we have the audio jack and the HDMI port right here. Quite tricky to unlock. Here's the HDMI. This is the power on off button. This is the the micro SD and the SIM slot. Not necessarily in that order. This is the micro USB port. At the bottom we have the charging port right here. On the other side you can see the camera button. And this is the lock button and the volume keys. At the back once again the camera. And now let's move on to the phone. We've just unlocked it. As you can see, we reached the main menu with its menu widgets. As you can see, there are three main panels. One, two, three. Unlike the Android 2.3 we showed you on the Nexus S that have five panels. And if the panel is empty, you can add widgets to it. Press plus. And here are the options. Let's say CNN.com. Press done. You were unable to get content. Let's try some other thing. Let's say Wikipedia. this should work so here it is at your disposal it's done as you can see we have the pretty nifty widget for the weather it can compare to the HTC one in the HTC sense but it's still nice it's pretty detailed it shows maps graphs calendar hourly Meteo predictions. Also, we have some news widgets. At the bottom, we have the social networking widget. And right here, you can see we've uh, configured something easy to access the setup, the music. Now, let's go into the main menu, so to say. You can find the calendar, contacts, music player, messaging, OV maps and let's see the apps to show you what this device is capable of we're gonna open some more apps and let them function at the same time let's say the photo editor leaving that now let's open the music player see what to listen to. The volume is powerful. We're going to pause that. Okay. Now back. Now let's see the apps that we have open. Here you can see four open applications. Let's go for more. Nokia Maps. OV Maps. Here's my position right now. It's searching and it has found us. It's, this is the 3D view apparently. Let's try the satellite view with 3D. 
this is what they call 3D it's a pretty good image let's see what Google does to stop this and since Nokia and Microsoft are partners now imagine Bing using this technology back to the menu we have the search categories you can also find some events nearby if you're new in town you want to visit our town at Bucharest taking a while to load no events found sad day let's see some hotels a 1 GHz processor is required right now as you can see it moves pretty slowly here's a list of hotels with some prices pictures enough with the OV maps let's see once again the multitasking we know we have five apps now not many operating systems can break with that kind of performance okay so let's see some more stuff let's go into the applications here we have a hit for you this is the angry bird title you must have heard of it it's made by Rovio a company that's uh, based in Finland just as Nokia in case you never played this you want to after seeing this demo what you do is shoot some birds using a slingshot into some pigs shelters kind of like worms if you remember the good old game so the pig is here the bird is here now let's shoot it we've killed the pig fun right? ok let's leave the app we have important stuff to do of course I guess that many of you will be buying this phone not for Symbian 3 that's on it they'll be buying it for the camera so let's have a look 12 megapixel power loads of zoom tons of options as you can see in mode, phase detection grid, self timer, color tone, white balance, exposure light sensitivity, contrast, sharpness and finally the photos you can also film in HD of course options here as well less of course, white balance, color tone let's leave this section we've installed swipe on this device but before we show you that let's go into the file system of the device as you can see it's pretty easy to get around on Android you need a special app for that as Apple would say, there's an app for that here let's play a video in order to show you the playback on this device the video playback quality is pretty good controls on screen I'm curious to see how many apps we have open now six going for the record as you can see thumbnails for all of them let's close some of them okay so now we're going to show you some video editing if you want to have fun this is a photo of a cat we're going to mess with it so options edit as you can see tons of options we can rotate, resize, crop have fun, draw, bubble text let's play with the bubble text what do you want her to say? now you'll meet swipe on this occasion since we men mentioned it let's say the classic meow as you can see this is a brand new swipe 
As you can see this is the brand new swipe for Symbian 3. We've just written meow on it. Trying to be funny right here. Let's enlarge this a bit. This is the result. Of course you can alter the picture in how many ways you want. There's also a nice way of uh, messing with videos. Not as complicated as this. The video editing section. Let's find it right here. Nothing big sort of a beginner's movie maker, so to say, Windows movie maker of course. Take clips, put transition between them, music on the background, easy stuff. Okay, so let's see some more apps. YouTube works pretty well. As you can see we have 3.5G network right here oh, ok back hmm what to see music video strange way of showing it not full screen but it can go full screen if we want to double tap it and play Ok, we're leaving YouTube now, if you're happy with it. The browser on this device is not that great, as you'll see, if it lets us. The phone doesn't always respond pretty well to the commands, and it can sometimes reset, but don't take that for granted, it happens to the best of us. We are very impressed with the FM transmitter of the device that will show you immediately. So let's get back to the main menu. Here it is. It's pretty simple actually. You press the on right here, set the frequency, and you start the player, the music player on your phone, and some other compatible device will receive it. Another phone, a stereo maybe, or other or your car stereo working on a megahertz so this phone software is pretty good but uh, you know it's Symbian after all but the look feels old it feels ancient compared to the Android not so fluid that device is pretty responsive as we said we love the swipe keyboard showing you to again what to say No, didn't mean that. As you can see, we written how are you very fast. No problem. If it weren't for the often resets and software problems and the Symbian 3 old school look, very old school, this could be a good device. It's got the touch. It's got the Nokia hardware, it's got the excellent camera, it's got the reasonable processor, but still it's not 1 GHz, it's left behind with 680 MHz. It's got a decent screen, a great audio, this speaker is tremendous, you have to know that. But as you can see, the software is the bug on this device. Let's hope that the Microsoft Nokia partnership brings a better. OS to this device, Windows Phone 7. Well folks, that was all. Hope you enjoyed our review. I'm looking forward to seeing you again on gsmdom.com. Have a great day.